So, let's begin with all of these prepositional phrases that come before the main core or the main part of the sentence. So we have for a week. That's a prepositional phrase. We also know it's a prepositional phrase that says when. Because it says when, we know that it's acting like an adverb, which means it's modifying a verb. And in this case, it's modifying the main verb of the sentence, remained. So our prepositional phrase comes here. So we have for a week. Then we look at the next prepositional phrase, after the commission. This prepositional phrase is acting as an adjective. It's saying, which week is it? It's modifying the word week. So we attach that prepositional phrase to the word week. So we have after the commission. Now, we look at this next thing, of the impious and profane offense. Once again, another prepositional phrase. You'll notice Dickens loves prepositional phrases. He's got a bunch of them in here. So we have to say, of the impious and profane offense, it's saying, which commission is it? It's the commission of the impious and profane offense. So that means our prepositional phrase is connecting right here. So we have of the impious and profane offense. OK, so far so good. Now, our next prepositional phrase is of asking for more. So we ask, uh, what's it modifying? It's modifying offense. Which offense is it? It's the offense of asking for more. So we have something here. Now, here's the tricky part. We have our of here, and then we have asking for more. Remember, asking is a verbal, meaning it's made out of a verb, but it's not actually behaving like a verb. In this case, it's behaving like a noun. And so what we have to do is get out our cake platter to put that noun phrase on, or that noun verbal acting as a noun on. So we have asking is our verbal. And remember that the ing form, we kind of go around the corner. And then actually, if we look at this, this is another prepositional phrase for more. So we have that like this. OK, so that takes care of all of the stuff before the main clause of the sentence. So then we want to look at all of the stuff that comes after the main clause of the sentence. So the first thing we look at is in the dark and solitary room. OK, we have this prepositional phrase. What's it modifying? If we look at the sentence, it's actually modifying prisoner. It's saying, which prisoner is it? It's the prisoner in the dark and solitary room. So we don't need that much length. There we go. So we have in the dark and solitary room. Now we have to which he had been consigned. This now is another prepositional phrase, and it's got another verbal in it. So we ask, 
which room is it? It's the room to which he's been consigned. So that prepositional phrase, we know, is modifying room. So we have to, and then which is a dependent clause. And once again, because it's acting as a noun, we have to put it on the cake platter. Uh, if it were acting as an adjective or adverb, it would just be another dangly bit hanging below. But this one is acting as a noun, so we need our cake platter. So we have he, and we have had been consigned. Uh, and we actually stick the which as an adverb beneath had been consigned. So we have that. And now we have our final piece, which is by the wisdom and mercy of the board. So here we have a prepositional phrase again. And we ask, uh, in this case, by would explain how. So it's an adverb modifying consigned. So we have by and then the. And then we have wisdom and mercy. That's a compound. So that will work the same way as we saw compound uh, predicates. We have wisdom. And then we have and and mercy. And these actually both are consigned to the same thing or connect back to the same thing, which then is another prepositional phrase um, of the board. So we have our of the board. Presto, we now have diagrammed this sentence, a very complicated sentence, but once you know the basic structures, the way you can work it is you can take any sentence and you can take the pieces apart and put them into a diagram. And this is a very powerful tool because you can now see uh, Dickens really does love his prepositional phrases. You could even figure out sometimes what author you're looking at based on that author's favorite sentence structures. Um, as well as being able to figure out in your own sentences, if you've got something complicated and you're trying to figure out what connects to what, um, try diagramming to see which pieces are supposed to connect and do they really make that connection.